to the American people. I conceived the idea of removing the president because he has proved a traitor to the men that made him. This is not murder. It is a political necessity. The president's tragic death is a sad necessity, but it will unite the Republican Party and save the Republic. I presume the president is a Christian and that he will be happier in paradise than here. There's no question that James Garfield could have been a great president. James Garfield in 1880 was not simply another bearded 19th century politician. Garfield was the difference between machine politics that served only a few and a government that would serve everybody. James. Look what they've done to you. Charles Guiteau thinks, God says, you need to kill the president. And then you will be rewarded. Even by 1880 standards, Garfield was receiving very questionable medical care. The wound looks inflamed. Have you cleaned it? The president has appointed me as his personal physician. <laughs> Garfield, for even a short time, raised our sights. Garfield believed that everybody should have a quality of opportunity and that the government should help them get that. There's this great sense that Garfield represented lost potential. <laughs>